first sometimes angry and emotional testimony in Washington today as North Texas mask producer tells Congress he's been warning about shortages for more than a decade now. Thank you for joining us at 6 o'clock, everyone. I'm Ken Molestina. Doug is off tonight. The company's CEO says for years no one would listen. Now he's painting or he's pointing rather at hospitals and at the government for a supply problem that could have been fixed long before. Jason Allen reports. When COVID-19 first began to spread, Prestige Ameritech in North Richland Hills told federal officials they might be able to restart old machines and produce millions of additional protective masks. The response was one they had heard before. I've been working on this damn issue for 13 years, trying to save lives. Nobody listened. Michael Bowen told Congress Thursday that years of what he called chasing pennies to China, buying cheaper masks from foreign suppliers, had put the country in a position where supplies could be cut off in a pandemic. And it could have been fixed, he said, not with money, but with a message to hospitals years ago. I think it requires the government saying it is a national security problem. It requires the CDC telling America's hospitals they are too dependent on foreign made masks. Even without government buy-in, Prestige has still increased production from 75,000 masks a month up to 4 million by June. And Bowen bristled at suggestions he should have done more early on. We have bled for this country. We have created jobs. We put our factory in Texas when everybody else had already left the country. So don't, don't sit here and, and judge me for four machines that aren't running that I'd have to hire and fire 100 people for. I'm not going to do it. He also apologized for getting angry, which came, he said, after being ignored for so long. This is, I am getting emails from moms. I'm getting emails from old people. Please, can I send me a mask? And I, I, you make a product I, that can I, protect people. I can't help these. I can't help all these people. Bowen received an apology back from some members of Congress who called his testimony refreshing truth-telling about the situation. In North Richland Hills, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.